Information being used in this intersection is gathered from neighboring intersections. Data such as number of cars passing, as well as the speed of these cars are fed into our program. From this, our program predicts future movements of cars and will find the optimal signal timing. Here we see car trains approaching from south, east, and west. Our program should predict their arrival to the intersection and decide the optimal signal solution. Here the program immediately anticipates and lets the east-west traffic flow resume without stopping. The car train from the south is allowed to pass after some delay. This delay will be fixed in the next versions of our Lagrange minimizer. Now we see the east-west traffic approaching and being serviced immediately. Now the car trains from the south are being serviced. After observing the simulation using the minimizing algorithm, we can see car trains are not being blocked unnecessarily, as it was with the previous simulation using timed signal lights. By being able to dynamically change signal lights, we see a big overall improvement in traffic flow. The total delay in this simulation is 22, which is almost half what we had before.